How's it going, guys? Welcome back to some more games. I'm, of course, Blast Bunny. Today, we are playing episode four of The Last Door. Epic rap! Okay, so apparently, I'm tied to a chair. I don't know why I'm restrained. That's okay, though. These uh, episodes usually start with me being confused, so it's whatever. Okay. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm the guy with the ponytail. I have made my mind. I'm ready. Ready for what? What is going on? Go on. Do it. Ah, they put me in a sundress. Do it. Do it. Do what, though? I'm confused. Okay, we're going to skip this because you guys have seen it a million times. And I totally forgot my light. Can you see all the stars twinkling in the black outer abyss? All the constellations traced by human eyes in long distant eras? Can you, Devit? Can you? Look now to the forest in the valley, to the old tower, from the last tree in the distance to the stars in the sky. And even the stones beneath our feet are just silhouettes that hide the truth from our poor senses. Ancient shadows that hang over the veil that hides the world as if it were the curtain of a theater. The veil separates the truth from the lie. The veil is a place, Devitt. A place of mists. Anthony's great ability brought you here, but his influence will soon fade away. The mask of lies will descend over your eyes once again. Well, that sucks. Oh! I'm a tree! You must find the door as I did. I'm a mask! That door that gives you passage through the veil. I'm a broken mask. Open it and we will walk together beyond the mist. Whatever that means. I suppose you are wondering why I called you so urgently. I cannot deny it, your letter was truly mysterious. I have been traveling, Doctor, to Scotland. Have you heard about the Massacre of St. Giles? Why, well, yes, the tragic event that has been the continued object of speculation and grim rumor in every newspaper in England. For weeks now, pamphlets have claimed that all kinds of macabre things took place. But I don't understand how all this is connected with my, with my patient. His patient was Devitt. He was there, I'm afraid. He is one of the victims. Dear God! Is Devitt dead? Murdered? Thankfully, no. Please excuse me for alarming you. I didn't mean to give this impression. Herr Devitt was attacked but survived. So what happened to him? I'm curious! It seems the criminal was caught by Herr Devitt in the midst of the act. Then he tried tried to do the same thing to Devitt he had done to the others. Awesome. Fortunately, the nuns arrived in time to unearth him from the coffin. Herr Devitt was hospitalized. The nurses report that he remained unconscious for an entire day. What was he doing there? Many years ago, the St. Giles Hospital was a boarding school. It appears that both your patient and Mr. Beach were spent a part of their youth together there. We can assume that Herr Devitt was investigating something he believed he had found a clue related to his friend's death. What was the cause of those awful deaths? No one knows for sure the victims were inflicted with terrible wounds. All of them had an expression of utmost terror on their faces. You know, that is a good point, though, because if I die like this, you know something, like, went down. Like, super scary. I suspect you did not find Mr. Devitt in the hospital. Indeed, he was already gone by the time I arrived. I have not been able to determine his whereabouts since. I see. What conclusions do you draw from all of these circumstances? I have some theories, but I would prefer not to reveal them until events have unfolded. In all of them, there is a fundamental element whose role has not yet been revealed. And what leads you to this conclusion? 
It is something that the Holy Sister found beside Herr Devitt within the coffin. An empty hypodermic needle with traces of an unknown substance. Unknown? It was morphine, wasn't it? Why was it unknown? How do they not know what it is? It was morphine. I remember picking it up. I was like, hey, this morphine syringe is great. Chapter 4, Ancient Shadows. Okay. Can I go back here? No. Is there anything to pick up? Absolutely not. There we go. Okay, what's this? Iron Brawl the Tower. Cool. What is in here? Too dark to go in there. And it sounds bad. We're just not going to go in there right now. What about you? Cool. It's latched. Awesome. Uh, front door. Hello? Let me in, please. Oh, I didn't read that. I should have. If you guys are curious what it said. Ooh. Footsteps. There must be someone upstairs. Well, let's go upstairs then. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You know, first door. Hello? Hi. Alexander. Ah. The veil is something we sense in our innermost being. Incessantly in vain do we waste our lives craving to tear through a. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Zelethal is the curtain behind which the great wings beat inside its ancient mist and habit the shadows of those who left. I don't know what that means. It's some crazy cockabull. Hello? Alexander, it's me, Devin. I'm sorry if I startled you. Why are you sitting in a wheelchair? He is staring blankly at some distant point as if he has not heard my question at all. What's going on? He gives no answer, but persistently stares at something nearby. He appears to be in some kind of hypnotic trance. When I was downstairs, I could have sworn I heard footsteps. Were there, were there, were there yours? Were there yours? Were there yours? Or there is someone else in the house? Because they is a hard word. For a moment, I felt a flash of hope that he was looking at me, but he is unresponsive. Is that proper English? Were there yours? I don't... Alexander, please say something. I don't know what to do. I don't understand. Just what happens to him. So, uh, I don't know if that's proper English. I don't think it is. But if it is, I am sorry for poking it out, Game Kitchen. I'm not trying to insult you guys. Your game is awesome. Oh! August 5th, 1887. I can't work in the basement anymore. Those wretched sculptures. I feel them stalking me in the darkness. I know it is not possible, but I can hear the crunches? The flapping wings, stone grinding on stone. They're frozen paroxysms. I don't know what that means. With what diabolical art were those gestures conceived? An eternal movement, a tension, an impossible struggle to get back the life they never had. I might place them outdoors in the greenhouse and let the mold devour them and wasp make nests in their hollow hearts. Ah, oh, that's deep as shit. Alright, this is nothing. A camera tripod. Pictures hanging from the cord. They look as if they were improperly developed. You can hardly distinguish anything. Those idiots! Why were they even? What is that? What is it? A glass truck to yellow substance labeling cyanide. Cyanide? That can't possibly go wrong. Pick that shit up. Well, I would not want to do that then. It is a big book of home chemistry recipes. A few pages have been bookmarked and some articles are underlined. Collodion for photography. Collodion is the vehicle by which the photographic chemicals are united upon the surface of the glass and the sensitive coating produced. Many formulae are published for this article to which great value is attached. Some supposing 
that to its per peculiar composition belongs the principal cause of failure or success. This is only a degree true. To develop a positive image, this is done by pouring upon the plate about one ounce of the vitriol spirit solution and only then adding five or six drops of the cyanide acid. Then the plate must be thoroughly washed in water to remove any excess of the chemicals. The cause of failure would almost require a chapter by themselves. A long experience convinces us that nine out of every ten failures occur from a want of care, the presence of dirt, neglect, negligence. One cannot be over nice, careful, or cleanly. The best results always rewarding the most painstaking if a mistake is made in the order specified in the formula. Quickly flow clean water over the plaque and start again. Okay. What is this shit? It's gonna write to the glass, the look, put the shadow on the floor. Well, I'm sure I'll find some resin and put it back together. Bullshit mask. What is in here? Hello, what's this? Man, I thought I missed the record payment. Clock for the phone, the cuckoo clock. Mechanism has been modified to give the strokes exclusively a quarter past six in the afternoon. In addition, a special device and switching have been added to synchronize all clocks in the house. Well, that's convenient. Fireplace. I was about to turn open under light. Okay, so that's the photographs. Uh, what's this? Picture of an angel with. No, that's nothing. What about that? It's a letter! I love letters! Dear Alexander, I have excellent news. A contact from the university has given me access to a 12th century alchemical tome containing an amazing formulary. There is no doubt that sometimes more contemplation takes the mind to places that otherwise it would never have visited. Leafing through the grimoire and marveling at the exquisite illumination of its pages, I have been struck by a sudden epiphany. A radical but elegant method that I have decided to try. Forgive me for not providing any information about the method itself. As soon as I get definite results, I will write to you immediately. I believe fortune has truly smiled upon us today. Vedete ni quiscat. I still have no idea if I'm pronouncing that. Oh, wait, books. There's probably a book in here I can move. No? Guess I'm the only one who wanted that. Is it Anthony? Portia of an old man. But no, it's not. It looks kind of like Anthony. Alright. So I suppose we'll head back down. Because I don't really have anywhere else to go. Okay, what is in here? Hello. What's that? Couple of old teacups on the table, one of them is full and still warm. Could be a Penvency castle, but it's this painted in garrison is not in the ruins. Uh what the hell is that noise? Okay. Can you go this way? No, it's not that way. Alright, let's go this way. Uh, what is this? An oil lamp! Take! Just some old bottles. A oh, note! I love notes! It's a diary. This is the last thing written. The last page that's been ripped off. Ugh! October 12th, 1887. It's been a while since I can't... Since I can't devote any time to this diary for reasons beyond my control. An event most tragic has taken place in this house. Mr. Dupree has gotten ill, immersed in an everlasting stupor from which it seems he shall not return anytime soon. Since the accident, I patiently take care of him. The doctor's treatments don't seem to be doing any good. I feed him like a child and make sure that all of the sculptures in the house are turned towards the wall. What else can I do? The clockmaker just left. He has done such a good job. In the end, Mr. Dupree is not going to be able to notice the change in the clocks that he had so insistently requested. 
in his state, time will not be a problem anymore. Looks like the diary of a member of Alexander's household who... What happened to them? Well, they probably died. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. They're probably fucking dead. If I had to guess. Uh, spice and ingredients. Okay. Oh, there's nothing else in this room. Okay, but now I can go down... Down wherever... There was a section down here before I entered the house where I could go down. And we are going to do that. I need more chemicals, obviously. I don't want to know what that is. Paint looks like it has been broken from the inside. Just for Angel with the swing spread, its head is missing. Jar of vitriol oil. It must be careful. It's a powerful acid. A statue of an angel covered in mold. It's glancing at me with sad gestures. That's just weird. All right, that's just fucking creepy. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, so I had the lamp now. So that means I can go take away the light. What was that? Oh, never mind. Just a weird picture of an angel facing the wall. Whatever. Nothing spooky about that. All right. Collision into the vehicle by which blah, 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 blah. Pouring upon the plate about one ounce of vitriol spirit solution, and only then adding five or six drops of the cyanide acid and then the plate through washed water to remove the excess of the chemicals. Alright. Oh, that was the light bulb! I don't need to fix that. Okay, so I need the. Okay, can I open it though? Oh, uh, there? Here. I need to find a red light then? Is that what they're trying to tell me? Uh, I don't quite know where to wait. What if I did this with this? What? If, go back, damn it, you fucking asshole! Damn with this. Fine, be a dick. Well, I gotta go find a red light, I guess. All right. Oh, there's a door here. Oh, it's the backyard. All right. All right. What is this? They stole a rope is just being the Dutch blue. Pull it. Aww. Okay, well, I have rope. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, what the fuck? Yes, you can, dammit. Jesus, shit. Use the hook. Not the sign of the hook. Uh, fine be that way okay well I'm gonna go on here actually real quick oh god damn it okay I I have no idea what what to do so I'm just gonna go back from the beginning of course it is oh god damn it I've been spending like a goddamn hour trying to figure this out. Oh god! Alright, I need a red light, so how about light bulb with deer blood? That's a horrible sound. Is there anything else? This way? Oh, 
Nope, just the exit. Ah, oh, but of course the deer was at the e at the entrance. Why wouldn't it be? Roman in style. God balls. All right, so I gotta go plug that light bulb in. So upstairs we go. I need some water real quick. All right. Okay. What the fuck is that noise? No, seriously, the fuck is that noise? Goddamn horrible noises. Okay, so first we need the vitriol. And then we need the cyanide. Well, rinse it. Oh. Okay. Well, what is this? It's a photograph of Anthony Alexander. But who's in the back, though? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, that fucking scared the hell out of me. Holy fuck. Oh, my heart. Oh, shit. God. Fucking damn it! Whoo! All right. Wow, that was okay. Examine the photo. What does this have to do with me? Oh, God, that really got me. Bravo, Game Kitchen! Uh, I actually have an idea. What if I use the rope on the hook? Yep, I'm a genius. Okay, now just the question of what to do with this. Uh, rope with door. No? Okay. How about rope with well? Bomb shizzy! Within the mud and dirt inside the bucket, there's a small bird of brass. That's going to be the thing for the cuckoo clock. Oh, shit, guys. This is going swimmingly. Okay. Bird. Oop. Okay. Oh, fuck, what was that note? It said I had to set the clocks to... Fuck, okay. Uh, that was down... Oh, where was that note? In the kitchen, right? Yep, okay. Oh, wait one sec. Sorry. I, did I skip that in the beginning? It's in one of these notes. Uh, shall I return? The time soon. Some people will be able to ask. Come to the house. What else can I do? Clock bear just left. You thought it's the trip. There's going to no change. Clock this. So, okay. Uh, that's not it. Shit, though. Maybe it wasn't in the office? I don't know. Uh, 
Ah, a quarter past six, wasn't it? Or a quarter to six? Quarter past six. Oh, uh, that's fantastic. What is that supposed to help me with? As I just the photo, take a look. It is you and your old friend Anthony, and there is someone else blurred in the background. Who's the third figure? Does he mean something to you? Okay. <laughs> Thanks for shitting that key out, man. Oh. Wait, what? I gotta zoom in first. I have no access to sh stuff. How does that not... Fuck! Oh, I gotta do this? Shit! Ah, oh, this thing is so long! Ah! So many clicks! Oh my god! Oh my god. Ah, damn it! Oh, I see what you did, you bastards. I don't understand what I'm doing. I'm just doing this over and over again. Okay, it had to be three o'clock for some reason. That's a creepy ass cuckoo clock. Oh. He's moving. What is this? Uh, ah. Now it's open. Great. Give me the... What is... Cool! Oh, that's not good. I don't know what happened. I don't know what that guy saw, but he is fucking... He's freaking out about something. And this key goes to here! Ah! Hello? Asian origin. Take. What is this? There's the room is eight behind the wall, and I can't distinguish it out clearly. Oh! A book written in language unknown to me, there is a scrawled annotation written in English in the book. Margins. This and no other is the function of the serum we manufactured at the boarding school when we were young. It is something that we didn't understand by, the, by that time. To accompany the mind to the prosium, senium of the big theater, and there help us to look behind the curtain that separates the world of man from the land of truth. To look, I say, if anything apprehended or apprehend an image of what lives there, just what will the hoopo allow us to raise the curtain enough to walk off the stage and go beyond? That meant nothing to me. Murky objects suspended in formaldehyde. Ew. Uh, why? So the chemical residue in the air is filled with the smell of vinegar. Yuck. Repul wait, repulsive liquids, a few of them have developed fungi inside. Uh, lab equipment. There's nothing else down here? Alright. Oh! Okay. All right. Uh, let's go dig up this grave. Haha. -ha. Boom. Creepy.
Oh, hell. Well, then what can I open it with? Actually, you know what? I just noticed the time. We're going to have to continue this in the next episode. So anyway, guys, I have for this video, them's the bunny ears. And if you haven't already, hop on over to that subscribe button because it super helps me out. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out. I'm use acid. All right, I was buried at the... What? I didn't know I was buried. That's kind of cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Okay.